Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing great. We are back again. We have the... If you didn't tune in last week, we have the new phone slash YouTube camera, if you will. And, of course, that has a microphone plug. That is with the charging jack, so we can actually use my podcast microphone which is really really good i really enjoy that the sound quality is a heck of a lot better if you check out the other video oh, you can check out this one as too just adjusting the lighting a little bit there but definitely definitely a heck of a lot better but before we get into all that and as you can see no more of the coming everyday beers i have one more i wanted to do but i couldn't find it anywhere so we might just break off in a week or two maybe and go check that out this is a local one but before we get into all that you know what it is you gotta hit that thumbs up over there that helps the video helps the algorithm so youtube knows you guys really enjoy these videos and it gets out to more and more people then you hit that subscribe because that helps the videos to get out to more people and it also helps me to make the channel more popular and it helps you by you getting those videos coming in your subscription feed and you will see them pop up when you log into your YouTube. So with all that being said, like I said, we have a much different beer this time. This is Blue Point Beer. It is the brewery. It's called Winter Warm. And it has an alcohol content of 6.4, so a little bit higher than the other stuff we've been looking at as of late. It does have the government warning and all that fun stuff. I had a, I did go to Stu Leonard's, so I had to clean off the thing there. It says vanilla winter spice ooze ooze. It's an ale with spice and natural flavors, and it is in Patch Hog, New York. Sorry about that. I know that wasn't there so you could see it, but I had to look over the phone. I couldn't see it through the lens finder. Uh, the lens finder, if we could get it to focus. There we go. So you can check out all that. It is from Patch Hog, New York, which, so it is a local beer. It has the alcohol content over here. And it's 12 ounces, of course, as you can see. And then we have the date. But let me just move it for a second. By May 2022. So, got a few more months before this uh, goes a little uh, bad there. And it's Blue Point Brewing Co. That is a very plain blue cap on it. But I really like the bottle. I thought it was really cool looking. I'm just getting our little um, cap collection over here. Because we're going to have to add one. And I got the uh, good old Swiss army knife to pop the cap just getting a little stuff out of the way i did do the cards again i haven't gotten a book yet i'm trying to look at some books where i purchased this book was target but they don't seem to have it anymore i'm just trying to see if i can get a book that's kind of similar because really like the layout i guess it's more because i started with that book that i like that layout but definitely a book i like the layout of so let's first let's do some marking on the paper or the card like i said i feel like a talk show host with my little cards here so the brewer is blue point it sounds like an interesting flavor if you will but um origin new york style i think it said ale didn't it Yes, it is an ale. So we have an ale, beer type ale. And then we have 6.4% on the alcohol. Color, we don't know the color yet. Um, don't know the notes and the flavors and all that. So we got the basics out of the way. And of course, we're going to do the stars on the back of the card like we've been doing. Let me do this find my bottle cap opener on my Swiss and we will uh, crack her open take a whiff take a look see what we got 
There we go. Close up the knife. Oh, the bottle cap opener on the knife, not the knife specifically. Get her a little. Look at that. Look at all the great beers we've tasted together so far. So, of course, let's have a toast together to join in the weekend. It's being shot on Saturday. You'll see it on Monday. I had to work again Saturday, so I had to wait a little bit for the video. Ooh, it's nice and dark. I guess because it's a spice. It's a really dark one there. I couldn't get the pour as good as I'd have liken, liked. Like and like. So, I can smell kind of a, hmm, hmm, whoa, that's a strong little kick there, that's a very kind of strong bowl favor, hold on a second, I'm just going to move away from the microphone, snack on some chips to get it out. Now, I don't know if that was the flavor hit me all at once but you know like stuff laying setting on the bottom maybe because that was the very bottom of the bottle I kind of got everything out in one shot color it's a dark brown we haven't really tasted it taste it per se but Whoa, yeah, you can definitely taste the spice in that. Kind of like, what's that um thing that people make when they're sick? The hot toddies or something like that? Kind of, from what I heard about it, I haven't actually had a hot toddy, but from what I heard about that, very, very, very similar taste from what I heard about. So I'm pretty sure the flavor is there of something like that. So, if that's what you're into or that what you've had before, then that's definitely something you will enjoy. But it is definitely a very heavy, dark flavor. Wow. So, definitely a lot of spice. So, on the flavor profile, spicy. And not spice as in like a hot pepper spice. Um, definitely multi for sure. Very multi. Um, definitely heavy. And it, as you can see, came in a bottle. I'll put that down at the bottom of there. And what do we else? Uh, we have anything else? We have the notes over here, but um, I haven't tasted Guinness in many, many years. It was early two thousand when I tasted Guinness, so I can't. For some reason, I want to say it tastes like a Guinness, but I can't say one hundred percent with the exact accuracy if it does or not. So I'm not gonna write that down, but. I'm definitely going to write down all the other stuff about it. So, um, just a very heavy taste and flavor for sure. That's a heavy hitter right there. It's kind of got like, kind of like, um, it's not like an apple pie, not like an apple pie or cinnamon pie or anything like that, but definitely a very unique taste, especially after having all those beers that were kind of like common beers that you did pick up in any old place. But this was at Stuart Leonard's. They have a couple of more you know, these style beers than other places, but it wasn't like one of these bottling plate, you know, um, beer and soda places, but definitely something that probably could 
find there or think I would find there if I would have to say so. Yeah, that's a dark, heavy beer. It's very thick as well. So there you have it, guys. Um, oh, I almost forgot my stars. And we are going to go. But before we go into that, it's a something different for sure. Very heavy if you're into those types of heavy, dark beers. Definitely something. It kind of grows it on you as you drink it. So, sort of, you know, you get the flavor profiles and everything. It's just very, you have to let it grow on you a little bit. It's a little bit shocking of a taste at first when you have been drinking all those other lighter beers. And then this hits you kind of heavy. But definitely, definitely good. So, I give it three stars. It's not, I dropped a bunch of stuff. It's not something I would buy on the norm, but something to this. Maybe have something different with some friends or some taste things or something like that. So hopefully you had a great toast. Hopefully you had a great weekend since you're seeing this on Monday.